flips. That could solve the whole thing. <laughs> like I said, Shark Tank, here we come. Yes, that's it. Okay, so um, so we're gonna, our first muscle we're going to look at today, let's take a look at it. Well, what, what pinky region is it? Oh, today is 29, the lateral leg, right here, the lateral leg. And we noticed okay. something, 29 and 32, and 32. have such similar muscles, they we do. thought we could just do both of them. We added 32, so all of yeah. you, they're going to have to put the 32 in too, and that's lateral ankle pain. Lateral okay? ankle pain. So it's 29 and 32. Okay. All right. Do we so have today, that, uh, chart here for yeah. Us here? Let's, let's take see. a look at that. Yeah. By now, everybody has printed this out, I am sure. And we go down to the ankle. I have to put my glasses. Twenty-nine and thirty-two. There it is. Twenty-nine, thirty-two. Mm -hmm. So here we are. Thirty-two is lateral ankle pain. The peroneal muscles. Those are the muscles on the outside of the thigh, outside of the calf. Sorry. Those and the gluteus right minimus, the third most likely is the gluteus minimus, gluteus and 29 is on the other side, oh, yeah, somewhere, the other somewhere side. around here. There it is, okay. lateral leg pain. Lateral leg pain, the most likely one is gastrocnemius. Right. Second most likely is gluteus minimus, then the peroneals, and then the vastus lateralis. All right, how about we take one muscle at a time? Let's rock these things. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do one muscle at a time. Let's see, one muscle, we need to know what its referred pain looks yes, like. Yes, we'll We need look to know its that. origin, attachment, and where right. it is. We That's need to right. know its anatomy. Right. We need to know what nerve supplies it. Yes. Uh, so that we can work on the you know super spinal super sensitive spinal segments right. all the little tiny muscles that uh, control the nerve opening uh, yeah. to that muscle and then uh, what else do we need to know oh range of motion tests uh, yes range of motion tests yeah. and maybe some strength tests yeah and, true strength and tests. also uh, we might note some nerves that get compressed by the muscles right any special extra problems that certain muscles the cause the peroneal nerve this time. Well, that one causes proneal nerve entrapment. Well, the, 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 it, <laughs> <laughs> the proneal muscle can entrap the proneal nerve, causing what dysfunction? Uh, can, can anyone think of a dysfunction? Uh, drop foot. That's it! Drop That's foot! Drop foot. Okay. drop foot! You're walking and you just can't get your foot yeah, to you pull can't, up. So this and is it drop just, foot. So you're, you're walking and ooh, ooh, ooh. You yeah. Can't, like or doesn't well? Oh no! It's and, and there, there's that's not to be confused with slap foot, right? Slap foot is the anterior yes. tibialis. So, uh, no, no, anterior tibialis is drop foot. It's drop foot. Also. Yeah. So the so but the nerve to anterior tibialis is, is the, the peroneal nerve. Okay. All right. And so when it goes, so if it gets compressed by the peroneal, what if you you have first metatarsal deficit? You don't correct it. You could have really tight peroneal nerves that could compress the peroneal nerves and then cause you to have drop foot. Aha! Uh -huh. Is that the same thing as slap foot then? Like when, when they yes, step it and it goes slap, you hear someone yeah. walking and it goes ka slap, ka slap. Is that the same kind of thing? No, drop, drop foot means that you can't lift it. Yeah, so you're so, more like stumbling over it. Yeah, and stuff you can't. Like that. You, you you mean to lift it, but you can't lift it. So then you you, you drag ah, your foot like gotcha. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So more like that. Okay. All right. So that's a couple of things we're working on. Fantastic. Okay. That some of those numbers didn't print out on their chart. They should be. Uh, but it's, if if not, uh, look here. It's just 29 is at the uh, lateral side of the lower leg. That's the leg, you know, and this is the thigh, folks. Officially, that's the leg and that's the thigh. But anyway, uh, that's the lateral lower leg, okay? And the lateral ankle is 32, so 30, 29, 32. Okay, pain in the lower lateral leg and the lateral ankle. <laughs> I'll check again, though. So, so uh, go ahead, tell us who, who you are and uh, how, how long did it take you to get here? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't take me long. I live like 10 minutes away. Awesome. Uh, my name is Nora Winsberg, and I'm happy to be here. Wonderful. And she, she wished she'd been here for the knee one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. But you might, you might fix your knees. So I need you, this one too. Hey, hey this one can all. fix a lot of knees. Right. Lateral leg and lateral ankle today. Yeah, 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 and that might fix your knee. You Hi, know. and I'm Camille Matuszewski from Massage as a Ministry, and I've known Sharon over 30 years, and I'm here every week. <laughs> yeah, she is with us. She's one of the troopers. Stephanie's hiding back here somewhere. Stephanie. Hey. Steph, <laughs> the wizard behind the curtain. She's the one who gets it all going. All right. Okay, great. So and we're going to take your I'm teacher changing for the shoes. evening, Sharon Sauer. Yes, hi. She's putting her favorite shoes on because yeah, she doesn't yeah. want to wear heels all the time. Well, no, no. No. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look at the gastrocnemius muscle. So this so, is the most likely muscle. This is the top one on the chart. Yes, to call lat lateral leg pain. And you can see that the trigger points high up here will cause some pretty good pain on the lateral leg right here. So what you're and saying also is here. Mm -hmm. the so lateral the, trigger mm -hmm. point kind of up where mm -hmm. it attaches by mm -hmm. the knee 
in the fibular right head. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's what this causes. This is the one that causes lateral leg pain there. Gotcha. And this muscle attaches right here. It crosses two joints. It crosses the knee joint and that's the right. ankle. That's right. And it attaches right here on the lateral condyle of the of the femur, and then attaches down here uh, by the tendon of the Achilles tendon to the the posterior surface of the calcaneus. So that's our muscle, and of course, it also the the other head also causes plantar fasciitis, which we're going to get to yeah. later on. So see? if you got your trigger points on the medial side, the right. other side, you get mm -hmm. that plantar fasciitis that's pain. That's right, that's right. And on the outer heads, then you'll get lateral leg pain. Let lateral leg pain. And that, that, so that's the muscle right there. Right. So let's let's um, let's go ahead and do a, a little uh, evaluation of that muscle. Sure. Uh, what nerves feed that? It's S1 and S2. S1 and S2. So yeah. way, way down there. So yeah, you would, so take a look you at would do S1 skin rolling right way here. down over the sacrum. So here would be like... Here's L5, so S1 and S2. So we do skin rolling right there to see if those nerves are working. Yep. And and if see if they're having heightened tone that would cause you to have trouble with the the, the gastrocnemius. Right. And if the skin is tight and mm -hmm. pulling and not lifting easily, then we would work on all the mo rotatory muscles and the, the, the multiple spinas, mm -hmm. all that and stuff. Right, correct. All yeah. right. Let's see if it might see if those might be causing. Also, we have three. Uh, a four, I mean, four tests that would do 35, 36, 37, and 38. Yep. So, so we're going to do those. those are. Go ahead. Easy test this week, not hard ones. So 35. This is the knee lock back test. That's pretty simple. Then it's, uh, of course, the gastrox are involved in the uh, standing toe touch. They are evolved a little bit in the uh, leg lift here, which is similar. Although we usually evaluate hamstrings, of course, the gastrox are involved in uh, that, uh, you know, leg flexion like that. And then 37, this is the one Straight that we're going to use the most. Mm -hmm. We're going to use this one mm -hmm. the most. That's our main one for, main the, one for the gastrox. For the gastrocnemius. There, it's all in red there, you see. Okay, that's so, why it's mm -hmm, in the, mm -hmm. exactly. Right there. Okay, so that you could have a person lay down and have them. Uh, spread the leg straight, and then you're going to see if they could get at least 15 degrees or 20, 15 to 20 degrees of dorsiflexion. Why is the knee straight but not bent? Because then we would, when, because it, it, that muscle crosses two joints. Right, so if you bent the knee, then you'd be relieving the uh, Upper knee. Upper portion. And so then you'd be only testing the soleus. That's right. The okay. soleus, which doesn't cross the knee. So okay. you have to have the legs, knees straight if you're going to test the gastroc, and knee bent if you're going to test the soleus. All right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we want your feet off the end of the table. Good. Okay, there so we here we'd like to take a look at, at the at the dorsiflexion. So uh, so we could um, take a look here. So you want to bring it to neutral first, so you can go to 90 degrees with your goniometer if you want to. I'll do it on this side okay, here. Okay, sure. So you put it right here, just this right right there. You're gonna put that right. This is right in the line with the bottom of the foot. There you go. And then you want to see if you can get 15 degrees of flexion. <laughs> to 20, 15 to 20. And no, no we're not getting not No, we're not getting very much flexion. So if we go to 90, that's about what she wants. She, she, then she doesn't really get any more and, flexion. And, and what else? End feel. And especially right. a joint like this, end feels are important. So, yeah, so what it should feel is it should smoothly mm -hmm. go to the end and yeah. then it should just have a soft lock at the yeah. end. Yeah, so this is just it about should 90. should give you resistance along the way. So we should get it to go to about to here. Yeah, and then okay. it should be soft. Yeah, and like stop. Mm -hmm. it's the, if it's uh, fighting, fighting more and more, then like in a rubber band, then you know that you've got uh, myofascial uh, shortening. So we should be able to get it to go a little easier to there. Yeah. Okay. 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 So okay. Let's, let's take a look at the other side. All right. Okay. We'll put it first at to 90. So you put it right here, put it right on the bottom of the foot. I'll do it on this side so you can Why see not? me. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. So you're just trying to get to nine. So you put it 90. And then you from there, you try to. There, this one is going, yeah. So this one has, let me check it, it's got about um, 10 degrees over yeah, here. So. so 10 degrees here and maybe 5 degrees here. So we want to improve that, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> good, good, good. How about strength tests? I could show you a quick strength oh, test wonderful. if you'd like. Oh, wonderful. Okay, that'd be great. Let me, okay. let me uh, so take for, a picture of you while you're doing that. Okay, so for the strength test, because it crosses both joints, you bring the knee up 30, uh, the knee bent 30 degrees and the toes flex like this. Okay. If you wanted outer gastroc, you would turn it in like this. If you but want we want inner this time. Like that. So yeah. keep the toe turned that way. And point it slightly. Okay. And then I keep my elbow straight because I have too much 
wiggliness here, I keep my elbow straight. And I say push I up into my hand, push up, and then I add one, two, three, down. And then it's by two or three, it's weak. Uh -huh. So if we were to do inner, then we would turn it in, and I would push like this, one, push in, then I add one, two, three, and that one actually that is was stronger. stronger. So, so the lateral, so lateral one is especially weak. Yeah. So it might be good to treat point it. Point the toe. Mm -hmm. So remember, 30 degrees, toes all the way bent, turn out, push up in my hand, one, two, and even two. And when they want to move their foot out of position, what's that called? Recruitment. They're trying to recruit other muscles to fight it because it inherently already feels that it, it can't do it. So it's now bending and doing, it's like when you're testing a neck muscle and someone starts pulling their shoulder into the mix, you know, something like that, okay? Or you're testing a wrist muscle and someone Thanks starts bending Thanks for inviting your followers. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh yeah, do that. Okay, test the other side real quick. Sure. Ooh. Okay, so again, bend to 30 degrees, point fle toe flexed all the way, then turn outward and push up into my hand, push up, and I add one, Two, no, nothing, okay? The lateral nothing. Yeah. And then let's try the same thing. Toe turned in, push up into my hand. One, two, three. And again, strong on the medials, gastrocs were strong both times, and wow. lateral was weak both times. Okay, okay, so we had a little bit of a... Uh... Already you should be going ding, 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 ding. <laughs> First metatarsal, <laughs> you should be thinking about it, okay? All right, back okay. to Sharon. Okay, and um, so, Let's take a look at, at the nerve roots, okay? So uh, we're gonna take a look, and let's pull this down just a little bit. So this is nerve roots while she's laying down. Okay. And so we're looking at S1 and S2. Uh, S2. So here, we're looking for the skin to roll. And you see as we're coming here um, into the, uh, the L's, it's not rolling as easy, sort of, it's hard to pick up. And also, uh, okay, so, the S's are pretty good right here. Yeah. Okay, but the L's are are, are pretty tight. Oh, that's yeah. Good. yeah. The lumbar. So you guys so, know you know the trick for finding L four, right? So the top of the iliac crest right in the middle, that's L four. See, top of the iliac crest <laughs> right in the middle, that's L four. Then that's our L five. So then L five is the one divot below mm -hmm, that, and then mm -hmm. you're sacrum right down there. So So we, it's rolling here, yeah. but it's not rolling at L five, L four, L three, L two. It starts to start rolling again at L2. Yeah. So okay. so we, we could go ahead and do just a little bit of the uh, treatment there and see if we might see if we see some improvements if okay. I, by doing yeah. it. So we'll, we'll try and see if the rotatories or the multifides or some of the other paraspinals might be causing some of the heightened tone or some of the uh, a slight compression of the L4, L5, S1. And we'll have crossovers to the other muscles. All, remember, everything in the lower limb is fed by the lumbar spine and sacral spine roots, uh, nerve roots. All the uh, upper body, uh, upper limb muscles, they're fed by the neck, and a little tiny bit from the upper thoracic, but mostly the neck. So uh, So this is just looking at it laying down. Yep. You might want to look at it seated or standing as well. That's right. So, so everything, you know, but you know, for sure, um, Looking at it this way is telling us at least what, how it is when you're when she's laying down. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. So I'm right on the the S1 and S2. And if you treat it and you see good change, and then the patient uh, goes and comes back, and it's returned, then you say, well, what caused it to come back? You must look for perpetuate underlying perpetuating factors, and you must make sure that you evaluated every factor affecting that muscle. So that's. Uh, it's perfectly all right. Plus, there's just a natural time that it takes for the muscle to retrain itself, too. That's why we do self-care. True. Yeah. The self-care is really important, not just because, of course, uh, it's working the muscle, but it's reminding the muscle. Self-care is reminding the muscle of the treatment it had last visit and why it's supposed to be and what it's supposed to be doing. So I was just going. So I'm I'm treating that area on her, right? Yeah. But but you let's have you treat it too. Well, while, while we're so to treat the L L four L five S one S two. So while we're while we're treating, so why don't you go ahead and use this ball? And you can do that on the wall. Oh, okay. And, and uh, let's have you come over here. And while I'm doing the other side over here, yeah. I'm going to check you. Come over here, right here, and I'm going to just check you for a second. Okay. Standing this time. Okay. So here. We're going to see, can we lift up the, the tissue here? And it's lifting up pretty good. Oh, but when we get to L5, 
about L5, and S1 it's not. Okay, so here's okay, the thoracic, the lumbar, but here at L5, it's a little tight. Okay. So once you go ahead and put your ball right here and here, turn around it with the, put it on the wall, mm -hmm. and then you're going to come here and you're going to look around for t painful tight spots that, there and below there on your sacrum. Okay, and you can imagine, um, you can see where I am on her. Good, good, good. <laughs> And okay. then you can also, you can sometimes flex a little forward too to get a little more spot. Yep, good. Anything that's, that feels like you're getting into the muscle is good. It's okay to creatively, uh, you know, move around to get the best pressure at the best angle. So, so here I'm looking for some taut bands in the, in the, multi, the rotatories and multivities. So um, I can feel the spine here and the, the transverse processes. I'm going towards the spine, pressing straight in towards the vertebrae and towards the transverse processes. I'm going to go a little inferior, so feel the spine come just lateral to it. And I'm looking for some taut bands in there and some painful spots. I don't see anything right there, so I'm going to come, I feel the spine come down a little bit lower. I feel a little taut band there. What do you think? Oh, they're all tight. Camille, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is tight, but it feels wonderful. <laughs> okay. and, uh, and you know, you would spend as long as you need to on that. Um, there's a lot more that could be done. She so could be bending could over the table. She could have mm -hmm. her arm tucked mm -hmm. under to give yep, a rotation. Give a nice rotation. Yeah, there's a lot. So the idea be would be that you keep treating it over time or today even. Yes. Until until you get it to really roll good, you know. Yeah. But but how about if it's just slightly improved? That's still really great. That yeah. means you took away some of the underlying perpetuating factors in the gastronemius heightened exactly. tone. Exactly. And trigger point development. And what if you put a first metatarsal lift and gradually that area softened up all on its own? It may. It you know, may. Just have may. someone stand and do the skin roll, <laughs> okay. then put the first metatarsal lift and a few minutes check later and do the skin roll again and you might okay, find so the Okay, so the skin rolling is better. Okay. okay. So it's but, better. So I could, I'm going to go on to take a look at the gastrocnemius, okay? Great. Okay. How would so, you treat the gastrocnemius well, as a nemius, as a bot, master body worker? Okay, we'll take a look. I have a feeling something about on the stretch is going to come. Yeah, it's going to come. <laughs> so, uh, it's, so, so remember the the lateral gastrocnemius head is the one that causes the trigger the, the trigger point pain uh, That's right. referral. That's right. So, um, so we're going to take a look at that. And remember, it attaches here onto the condyle of That's the femur. Right. It is, goes above mm -hmm. the knee there. Above guys. the knee, right there. Yeah. So often we want to treat the attachment, and the attachment sort of sticks out a little bit a little bit when you. When you you could you could you stretch it and you contract it, you can see where it's attaching. Ah, yeah. Go ahead and push your your foot towards me and relax, and push your foot towards me, and relax and push. Good. And then I'm gonna come, and uh, I'll do, I'm gonna use all my knuckles. I'm I'm gonna look for taut bands, and I feel some right there. What do you think? Oh yeah. She says yes. She does have some. <laughs> she feels it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. So how's it feel on your spinal roots there? Uh, it's a little sore. It's a little sore? Tender sore spots? Yeah, oh yeah. Holy. Good, good, good. So sometimes, um, uh, so I had them putting a little heat on before they were, I treated her, but sometimes if it was too painful, you might go ahead and put a, a hot water bottle, nice and warm, with a, a home and take hot water bottle. And when you do that, then you come like this. Yeah. And it often is much less painful. Yep. So, so it may be no, not painful at all. Because yeah. the heat goes and causes, um, uh, is a distraction. Yeah. And it's, then, a, uh, it's, a, it's an aid in stretching. And you get less resistance yeah. and then you can uh, treat it more effectively. And it goes to the brain faster than the pain message at this point. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good. So we're coming along, and here we're coming to the Achilles tendon. And so I'm going to just put it underneath so, so we can see what I'm doing. <laughs> can you lift your leg up just a little bit? Thanks. So it's nice to put a little bit of heat around a lot of times. And so I often put, so I've got a few hot water bottles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was stretching gastroc, uh -huh. exactly. Mm -hmm. Too much. Okay, a little bit too much there. Yeah, here we go. So how's it feel when we stretch it? She's using her thigh to stretch like that, exactly. Very tender there. Very okay. tender there. More on the outside, down. inside, or both? 
Both. Oh, both. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give it a little massage. So it's it's getting uh, improved in the range of it's range of motion. So I'm gonna get a little more of the lateral side. So the lateral side is a little tighter. Okay. So I'm gonna see if I can improve that a little bit more. So you can see when I go this way, the meat side is stretching more. So I'm gonna get the lateral side to stretch a little bit more. Okay. okay. See? Uh -huh. I thought about that. <laughs> Probably the f one of the furthest away referred pain areas. Very remarkable. Okay, good. Just bring it over here. Right Steph, here. oh, Steph found a point. See? This soleus. Now, remember, the soleus is like a pancake or like a mattress. It lies underneath the gastrox. The gastrox are two big bulbous heads that come down into the Achilles, but the, the uh, flatter, wider uh, soleus lies underneath and really is close to the bone on both sides, right behind the shin bone on the medial side and right behind the fibula on the outer side. And it goes down flat and then becomes part of the Achilles there. But you notice the lateral soleus is what causes the pain up here. That's right. Look at so that. A trigger that's point exactly right there, where we were. Yeah, right around there. Okay, okay. And it shoots right up mm -hmm. and just on cue. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the patient say, oh, I feel that right up here. That's so right. thanks, Camille. <laughs> right on cue. How did, how did Camille know? I felt <laughs> She felt it. Camille, you're anatomically correct. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. So to, to do the lateral ahead of the, of the gastrocnemius, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit on the stretch on this side. And we're going to go ahead and feel, look for some taut bands. Oh, I found a few right here. I feel some there. You can see them. Mm -hmm. Right here, I feel some right there. When she puts yeah. them on the stretch, they just pop mm -hmm. up. They you do. Can see them, they do. Right. So this this time, I'll give them a little uh, massage first. I can okay. feel. Oh, these are tight here. Oh okay. yeah. Okay, give them a little massage first. And you know, uh, depending on how much you love doing body work, I personally love things to stay fixed. And so when I saw something like that, I immediately went to first metatarsal lift. Um, be, but you know. Uh, you could work on this uh, quite a long while and it could keep coming back if you don't correct the underlying perpetuating factor. But it's almost like an instant in my brain, uh, since Sharon trained me, I would immediately think, ooh, look at that, that's got to be first my tarsal. What else what could cause it? that? What else could cause a calf to be rock hard like that? On the outside. Yeah, on the outside. <laughs> Very commonly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what else could do that? That's one of the common. It's walking on an ice skate all day, that's what that is. <laughs> that's the one. So here we're taking a look here on the outside. Yeah. You can see Sharon is using straight wrists, straight fingers. The knuckles are bent, and uh, and so she's using, uh, and she's probably using a lot of from the shoulder weight. She's not yeah. pushing with her arms and now, forearms. No, I used just to, like yeah. For the first twenty years of treating people, I might have gone like this, but for yeah. the second twenty years, I'll go like this. And for the following 20 years, I'll go like that again. <laughs> <laughs> the next 20 years, I don't know what she's going to do. <laughs> so, when I, so when I go like this or like that, you know, then I'm stretching yeah. the muscles instead of doing this. I'm not shortening those all the time. If the table is higher, mm -hmm. you could use your elbow too or oh, yeah, the yeah. side of your forearm. Yeah, you know? yeah, I do different things. So um, so here, just, just because the, we felt the soleus on that side, we'll take a look at the soleus on this side. Okay. Yeah, you know, what's the difference between getting the soleus versus getting a gastrox here? Well, the, the, the gastrox is this that takes up most of the uh -huh. the, the, the uh, back of the, the calf. Uh -huh. But the soleus is this one that takes up the most, becomes the ankle right here. Yeah. So Up so here, is, it's like way under here. It's yeah, just it's, an it's edge. Underneath. It's like a narrow edge. Oh, wait, deep, sorry, honey, I was only palpating. I wasn't treating. <laughs> oh, okay. So, like the shin bone and then... And then the gastroc, and in between that space, that little groove, that's the side of the soleus, and then it comes out to, you can treat a lot more of it down here. But it's good to get. Sometimes it's too hard to push and to soften up. You can use cream and do a rotational thing all the way down, just rub it, rub it, rotating until it softens up and gets a little warm. They'll say it feels warm to the touch. That sometimes loosens up the soleus really nicely before you go in deeper. But, uh, yeah. This okay. can be an extremely tender part of the area of the body to work, but also very, very delicious. Okay, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> okay, so we're taking a look at uh, some yeah, range of go. motion here. So we've got down into the soleus, yeah. the gastrocnemius. 
and let's go all the way down to his attachment on the calcaneus on the on the ankle on the heel right. remember why attachments are so important because they've got lots of nerves in them that regulate the tone of the muscle remember golgi tendon organs right we have spindle cells that regulate the tone of the muscle all in the middle in the belly and then we have golgi tendon organs at the musculotendon junction Right? Mm -hmm. So work all those areas. Anywhere where there's nerve supply, nerve affecting the tone of the muscle is very important to check those So areas. the mus musculotendon junction would be about here? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's take a look uh, and see if we improve some of the range of motion. Great. Right here you can see, let's go ahead and put it at, at a right angle again. And so we'll take a look. So here, uh, let's put it at a right angle first. Yeah. And then let's go and see if we improve the range of motion. So here we go. And then that would be um, certainly improvement. That's that would be about um, 20 degrees, about there. So, so, um, so that was good. Okay. Yeah. Let's look at the other side here, and you can see it also improved. So we're doing pretty good. Yeah. So we got some improvement. Go ahead and push your ankle towards me, and then relax, and push your ankle towards me. Your foot towards me. I meant, and relax, and your foot towards me. Good. And the other one. And Go ahead and push towards me and relax and push and relax and push. Good. Okay. Very nice. So, pure, so pure pro? Pure pro. That's often okay. use that. Yeah. Great, great. Okay, so uh, so we, we did the, so you want to hit the strength test one more time? Yeah, strength okay. test one more time. Let's okay. see if we have so, any difference But especially here. the lateral head. Yes, the okay. lateral head. So, E to 30 degrees because it crosses both joints, right? Right. To uh, test the uh, soleus, we would not. You're welcome. We would take this completely out, and we would just be testing this portion of it. But to test the gastroc and that portion, we'll have her flex the foot completely, turn out. I'm sorry, turn, turn in out in for, for the lateral. The, uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. keep okay. that out. And now you Here, push up in my hand, and I'm going to add one, two, three. <laughs> Good. Oh, strong that time. Yes, exactly. Even when I let oh. go, when I let go, and, okay. and you see it's it. it grabs even at the end that was great that's good so we so, improved so what that does one. that mean that so, means that the entire neurological dysfunction of this muscle was being caused by myofascial trigger points it could have been it when when we treated the the, the uh, roots could have been some of that but i and have, it could have been yes. when we treated the muscle lateral muscle itself yeah. now why would that be well, if there are trigger points then wherever there's a trigger point that portion of the muscle hurts when it contracts so it won't so let's say it there's trigger points. Exactly. Right? Let's say there's trigger points through 30% of the muscle. Then 30% of that muscle doesn't want to doesn't want to contract. So contract. Turn this. Turn inside. Yeah, out like yep, that. Yep, that's good. Good. Push up into my hand, and then I'm going to add one, two, three. Good. Wow. We fixed that. that. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> hey, great, great. Okay, super. She can be fixed. Okay, so go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, let's go. Oh, and, and by the way, here in Chavelle's book, she's uh -huh. sh she's showing here uh, how to make a first metatarsal lift at home. This is before uh, the the first. Oh, this this is before the sexy but not painful slips. <laughs> <laughs> so here you put it right under the metatarsal head. So they just took a insert. They cut the toes out, and they put uh, like moles skin there, and then they uh, put that. Uh, uh, to make the, the the tripod and to lift the first to metatarsal. There you go. Yeah. Yep. Okay, the second muscle we're going to work on today. Uh, second is, on the list. Uh, yes, the second is the gluteus medius. Or minimus. Minimus. I minimus. meant to say gluteus medi the, minimus. Because the minimus is, is the, the one that goes down the leg. Oh, that's the pseudo sciatica yeah. muscle. Okay, let's, let, we're going to have you us go ahead and sit up, and then you're going to have you stand up and. And I'm going to help you get off. Okay. So the sciatic nerve. Help me get off. Uh -huh. The sciatic yeah. nerve runs all so the way back we down. Call, we call pseudo sciatica. Okay? Yeah, it runs. Can yeah. Uh, Stephanie, uh, can you show it to us? Here, here it is. Sorry. Oh, there it is. Okay. It so is here, nice. the, 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 we're looking at the front part of it here, and this goes all the way down, and then it causes pain on the outside of the lateral leg there. So the outside of the lateral leg, and so this is the trigger points here, right near the TFL, so right near the front part of the hip. So we're going to do a couple tests for that, okay, and then uh, we'll take a look at that muscle.
Yep. Yeah. And the sciatic nerve, you know, runs right through that same area all the way down to the heel. And that's why people get confused and think they're having sciatic pain because it's the exact same uh, region. But the sciatic nerve, if it's true sciatic, will be more of a shooting electrical pain. And this will be more of that achy referred pain. So, uh, so here it is. And uh, so it's going to be attaching onto the pelvis and then onto the greater trochanter. Yep. And that's be L4 and S1. And then we're going to do test 45 and 51. So the glutes really come in a three pack, don't they? They've got the little minimus, which is toward the front and yeah. down. And then yeah. there's a the medius that's like a fan over it, over, over it. it. Yeah. And then there's a the big gluteus fat maximus. gluteus max sitting toward the back of it. Yeah. 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 That's all of our gluteal muscles there. All right. Okay. So we're going to look at test 45 and 51. So let's go ahead and look at 51. This is the, the leg cross test. This and is this my is favorite one for that. Yep. <laughs> and then the next one, 45 here, is the, um, the bonnet sign. Yeah. So this would be 45 here. So, and uh, then 51. Another one that would show it would be um, uh, th this one as well, the hip flexor test 31. So that this one could show us. Okay. I really like the 51 the best because right, it's good at showing 51. the patient. Okay. It's good at showing okay. the patient. They so, can see. So can we take a look at yours? Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and um, sit right here and let's have you go ahead and, and uh, cross your legs. So uh, how does that feel? Fine. Does it hurt? No. Good. Then, uh, and can, oh, oh, <laughs> so, so often if you choose, choose that way, That's right. yeah, then you're not stretching that muscle. So that okay. often, so go ahead and show us that one again. So this would be a lot of times if you can't stretch the muscle, you cross your leg that way. Yeah. Oh, so, like, so this, this is would the be the same a, muscle from like last yeah. several weeks ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, so yeah. But let's cross it all the way over like this and look at you. So you have only perfect. The perfect with just like the barely a finger getting in through here. Let's That's try it. the other side. So when you cross the leg mm -hmm. over the other, there mm -hmm. should be no space in between the yeah. two thighs. Yeah. Yeah. So no space there. How about so, you? Oh She's got so, a little space. So versus, oh, versus so here, she can so fit. Has, so there's like two, two, two fingers. I can almost get three of my fingers. Two fingers and then okay. the other side. Oh, so see how everyone measures different. Okay, I would go with two fingers. Yeah, two fingers on that side. <laughs> All right. I, I passed something. You passed something. Passed something. Passed something. Passed. Well, then should we use Camille then uh, to work was, on it? I was going to use, I was going to do her. Okay, okay her even though it's, uh, even though it tests okay. No, she passes. Oh, well, I'm still... I figure I'll probably find some time. Well, you'll find something. Okay, so okay. Um, let's come over here. Okay. Let's take a look at you. Okay. 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 Uh, is it easy to turn your toes? And this is another good test. Can you turn your toes all the way in? How's that feel when you turn your toes in? Okay. Good. Why is that a good test again? Because oh. the gluteus a minimus turns your toes out. Yeah. So, so the, the gluteus medius. Oh, well, it, mm -hmm. So this is feel everybody feel their butt here, uh -huh. and when you turn your toes in, you can feel the stretching here. Yeah. And then when you turn them out, you can feel them contracting. So, yes, so, contract. So, so, but a good. So for the for gotcha. so so what you want to do is turn them in for a good stretch. Okay. Okay. Good. Perfect. Okay. So nice. we're going to treat it a little bit while we're stretching it. Okay. okay. So we're going to take a look at it on the stretch, and uh, so, so that's kind of fun. Oh, and we did. Let's look. Let's look at your um, roots? spinal roots a little yeah. bit there too. As well. Okay. Okay. So let's have you come step up on here and come up here. So we'll look at. We look at them standing. Now we're gonna have you do it laying down. Stephanie, could, could I have my treatment jacket? Okay. So let's take a look at you laying down. Oh, the skin is rolling here. Skin rolling. Oh, it's getting a little tight here. It's good. No, it's very good. Look at this. Look at the S's. The S's are beautiful. Okay, the L's. Oh, yeah. Very the nice. L4, L5. Really it's supposed nice. to get a little tight coming up, but it's pr pretty good. So I'm not going to be worried about that. You're, you're excellent. Yeah. So your self care probably if it, it fixed that or, or, or in addition. Well, we fixed the, the hip issue uh, yeah. a couple weeks ago, too, and that yeah, probably yeah. helped a that lot. That probably so. helped, too. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, official, right now, Stephanie? Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> now she's woman versus pain. <laughs> I gotta have to have that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, we're gonna take a look at the gluteus minim minimus. So here we're gonna take a look at the greater tro trochanter right okay. here. So this is the attachment on the greater trochanter. And we're gonna go and take a look at and look for some taut bands in, in here. By the way, it was L4 uh -huh. through S1, guys, that she was looking at for the uh, nerve root. 
Okay, so I feel a few taut bands here in the anterior section. So show us where you would be palpating the glute max and then medius and then minimus. So 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 here so the the medius would be up here. So you like look for so you'd be looking for the medius trigger points up here. So uh -huh. so that you'd be looking for taut bands uh, here up higher. And when you're going to treat them, you're going to go towards the uh, iliac crest like that. Gotcha. Okay. And for the minimus, you're going to find the the greater trochanter, and you're going to look for trigger points and go towards the greater trochanter like this. So that would be for your gluteus minimus. Okay. And for the ones that are going to go down the side of the leg, you're going to look over here, and I can feel some right here. So you can see she has some, some taut bands right here. What direction do you push there? So I'm going to press yeah, straight, in. straight in. Yeah, yeah I'm going to yeah, press straight in. Sense. But I'm also going to do something on the stretch for her. And then the gluteus uh -huh. max you would Yeah, do. the gluteus max is going to be coming and attaching here onto the sacrum a little bit, and it's coming this way across gotcha. everything. Gotcha. Okay, and attaching over here. Yeah, uh, make sure uh -huh. you don't forget that it gets all the way back there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It comes all the way over all here, way there, yeah. and then into and attaches there. Great. So that's our gluteus max. Right. Okay, so so we're going to take a look at here uh, in this position, and then we're going to look at uh, this one. We'll do this one on the stretch. Super. Okay, so here we're going to find the greater trochanter. It goes superior just a little bit, and we're going to press in. And first we're just going to touch, and then we're going to feel a little bit of the resistance. And how's that feel when we, we can feel a little bit of resistance there? Mm -hmm. It's a little tight, yeah. A little tight, you feel? Mm -hmm. And we're going to go push towards the, the greater trochanter, towards the outside hip bone right here. So towards your hip bone. Okay. So you're pushing down and out, sort of? Well, in this case, down up, and inward. Down. So because the muscle is kind oh, of like I, a fan right. shape like this. Yeah. And we're kind of going down, finding the muscle and pushing it towards the greater trochanter. I would call that out. Yeah, oh, that. oh! <laughs> Two versus one, Sharon. Who's the master worker now? <laughs> okay, now here I've got some taut bands here. Can you feel that? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go and press in and towards the greater trochanter. If they're not tender, is it still sometimes important to treat a taut well, band? Well, it, it, especially if it's taut, if okay. it's painful, is, is, is and, and, and if it's taut, both you might want to treat. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then we're going to go a little bit more anterior. I got my elbow right on it, and then go again down towards the greater. Yeah, someone suggests lateral and inferior. Yeah, that's probably good. They're, yeah. they're technically correct now. you got to be technically correct. Yeah, yes. Lateral and inferior. Lateral and inferior. So now you're pretty much going inferior and just straight inferior? Or? Yeah, so I'm coming in and inferior. So gotcha. here we're going um, lateral. Here yeah. we're going lateral and more inferior. Here we're going... In more inferior, and here we're going mostly inferior. Gotcha. Yeah. So right. because so we're coming down this way. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's take a look at. Um, uh, we'll give it a little stretch, yep. and um, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and uh, um, give it a little stretch over here. Now. Uh... I'll show you the test afterward. There's not. Oh. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. I I, I, do I don't think she's. I already know she's not going to test weak. I can see by everything. She's she's. This muscle okay. seems to be functioning really well. Okay. So, so I'm just giving it a good stretch. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and press your uh, your leg towards the windows, <clears throat> and relax. And that's good. And give it a little towards the windows. Good. Okay. Great. So we gave a little stretch and a little contraction. Yeah, and we'll yeah. do self care in just a minute, guys. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Good so question. if I could have this this hip, and I'm going to have you come up on your hand. Uh, actually, just stand up, and then I'm going to show you what to do. Yeah. Good. Perfect. I'm going to assist you here. Good. Okay. Next, I'm going to have you come this way, uh, for the for the right hip, and you're going to come like this. You're going to hold this one down, and you're going to put your head. I'll put some a pillow for your head, mm -hmm. and you're going to push your leg down like this. Okay. All right. Here's a super duper master body worker position for treating the glute medius on the stretch. Okay, so here's a little pillow for your head. So okay, this is no, the... I'm a little dyslexic, so is this on the top? Or yeah, the that's it, that's it. Okay. So we've got the body right. support. Now this is the top half separated from the lower half so she can slip in between. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. there All you right. go. See? You're pretty co you relatively comfortable? Well... <laughs> the ball may be a little okay, bit so... much. Maybe a okay, well, ball, but yeah. do you want to give me a pillow from under the bed? Okay, so here you can feel uh, the, the um, there's a little bit of tension right here. Yeah, you can feel, yes, yes. So this would be, the, so here we're going to go look for the, so here's the anterior portion of it. I can feel taut bands right here. I can feel a few here. So the part that would cause pain in the lateral leg is very taut. 
Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and, and press on it. How's the pillow? Okay. Good. Okay. You guys see this positioning? <laughs> Her shoulders relaxing comfortably between the two parts of the body support system pillow to give her head to keep her head her neck straight and the bottom leg is crossed over the opposite calf uh, and is getting a really good stretch on the upside leg and that is where we're gonna see the trigger points that might be hard to feel otherwise come right to the surface so right here yeah so so did you have any lateral leg pain yes mm -hmm. but I always thought it was from the Morton's foot thing, which we're trying yes. to correct, but I've had it for I don't know, fifty years. Kind of would take 50. a long time to fifty years to make it go away. <laughs> That's take. a couple of years. Yeah. Of years. <laughs> so I still have some residual mm -hmm. tightness mm -hmm. from that. Yeah. Well, um, fifty years of the of feeling it. It's it's used to being that way. So it'll take a little time to get used to being a different way. Yeah. It may. It may. But you know. Uh, even if you correct the first metatarsal lift, which is beautiful, the muscles uh, may have to be gone through each one, you know, because uh, mm -hmm. they have their own memory. And uh, Okay, so it's feeling much better. Um, okay. How does it feel to you? It does. It's coming way down. Right it's, not, it's not holding itself yeah. up anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just, I'm just going to move it a little bit. Just see how it feels when I'm moving it. So, um... You've been uh, doing, sometimes, you, what, tell us what profession you've been doing recently. Oh, well, uh, Kickboxing. Sitting? I, yeah, <laughs> I was a financial advisor, so I sat in a chair for uh -huh. eight to ten hours a day for, uh, for 33 thir years. I was going to say 30. You didn't hang upside down from a trapeze? No, that actually <laughs> might have been good. Yeah, you could give financial like, advice that way. Yeah. You know, <laughs> people, people forget that you do something odd, then everyone knows you, you know, uh -huh. you can grow your business that way. <laughs> okay, let's have you go ahead and stand up. You could have a tagline like, tired of your finances swinging back and forth. <laughs> okay, and let's have you go ahead and need sit a down. Lift. We'll do the, we'll <laughs> need the a test. lift. Do the test again. <laughs> Do the test. You need a financial acrobat. <laughs> okay, go ahead and cross your legs. Well, it was good and, before. And it was good before. How's it feel now? It was good before. Good. And then and cross the other leg. Okay, and then how's your pain? No pain here. Just a little sore here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Digging. Good for my, my elbow. Digging so in put there. a little heat on that. So go ahead and turn, turn, your, uh, turn one of them on and put it on your on that little area there. Good. Well, do, well, should okay. we see the uh, oh. should we see a strength test on it? Oh yes, we're gonna we're, we're gonna do the strength test first. Okay. okay. So okay. let's go ahead. And let's do that. Hang on for a second. Face up on your back would be best. So I'll give the overview on testing hip abduction tests, okay? I always get confused between ab and adduction, but ad is getting two numbers together, so that's how I remember. Adduction means bringing legs together, so we're adding. That's why that's adduction. And abduction means pushing away, okay? So there are three angles to do an abduction test. And uh, the one is with the hip up at 30 degrees and turning in, hold that right there, I'm going to move at this exact angle, the TFL muscle is now straight. And so this is the t test for the tensor fascia lata, which is a little muscle that goes from here right to here and grabs onto that huge iliotibial band. Okay, so push up and out into my hand. She pushes. I add one, two, Oh, oh, that's that really one. Similar. So the TFL is a, is a big problem. That's not the one we're doing but what, in this class. Yeah, well, don't, but, but, but well, we didn't I want them to feel the difference. Oh, okay. See, see a difference okay. between okay, and then straight to the side would be glute medius. Okay. Okay. So push straight out into my hand. Push that way, and I'm going to add one, two, three. Also weak, and then glute minimus. I'm going to bring her down, leg down at 15 to 20 have her leg turn out and push down at an angle and out. So this way, push down and out. Oh, I see my all hand. of them. It gave us push all down and out, one. And then I'm at, at, that's the worst of them all. The so the variations, I would say, you know, the TFL and the glute medius and the minimus all tested weak. But remember, they, they worked together. The weakest of them all was actually the glute minimus. 
Okay, let's okay, try, the, let's other try the other side. Okay, just like I, I just wanted you to see the difference with the glute max, yeah, yeah. glute medius, glute medius. So here, when you're doing abduction, remember, abducting toward this direction is the TFL. So turn the foot in and push up and up. And I'm going to add one, two, three. Doesn't like that too much, but I would give that like a two out of five. Then straight out is glute medius. Push out, straight out, one, two, three, no, and I'd give that maybe a one and a half out of five. And then down 15 to 20 degrees with the foot turned out now, that direction, push down and out into my hand, and it's, it's like there's nothing there. I, uh -huh. I mean, I don't, as she pushes, it's almost like I can't do it. I'd give that a, okay. a one or less. Okay, so we're going to need a little bit more uh, treatment on, on those muscles. So for sure, those are not firing <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. And and so so we continue to work on those. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and turn to the side and go ahead and sit up. Great. 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 Okay. And then stand up. Walk and I was up. surprised. I actually thought they were going to test well. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I really did. So okay. their range of motion test was pretty good. The palpation. What would you have given it? Palpation gave a lot. Of, would uh, you say was, it was, so there were some tight bands? Some tight bands. But uh, I, again, I wouldn't have thought it would have been so as weak. Yeah. And the, the, neuro the neuro neuro neurology yeah, was quite of, a bit. So yeah, yeah. it could be another muscle yeah. that's causing a neuro neurological reaction in that muscle. So yeah. So we're gonna take a look now at the peroneus longus yes. and brevis and tertius. So let's take a look at them. So um, this is the muscles we're gonna take a look at, and you can see. That the, here's our peroneus longus and attaches onto the fibula head. So everybody, let's see if they can find their fibula head. Okay. So right here, that's your fibula head. So you can feel that on yourself. Down the knee, and then there it is, that hard yeah, bony. Yeah, feel that bony part there. Yeah. Okay. So it attaches right there. Then it comes down, 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 and attaches over here onto the fibula, and then down around the the, the, the ankle bone, then over to the the uh, the metatarsal. Head and then over here into the inside of the. So it wraps around mm -hmm, the outside mm -hmm. of the foot. Let's see. Yeah. So for, first it comes here, the fifth metatarsal head. So it comes. So it starts here at the fibula, then a head, then comes down the fibula, then back through here, behind, and then over here to the, to the, uh, and and comes underneath. So this is the peroneus brevis, and that attaches right on the fifth metatarsal head. But the yes. peroneus longus is a little bit posterior to that. And then it comes in across and attaches onto the medial cuneiform and the first met metatarsal over here. That's really important. Mm -hmm. So you guys see that? So the longest goes all the way, wraps around and grabs onto the big toe, right. the base of the first metatarsal. Right. The, uh, the little tertius starts right here. It only grabs onto the bottom. Right about there, there's a groove where you can feel it, and it comes and grabs on here. And it goes here. front in front of the, meta, the the ankle bone. Yeah. And, and the malleolus, and then it also attaches here at yeah. the fifth metatarsal head. And then the brevis goes behind like the longest, but it attaches. It stops. It doesn't. It's these the tertius and the brevis both go to the fifth metatarsal head, but the longest slips on through and attaches all the way to the underside of the first metatarsal. And it it uh, has. Uh, nerve roots L5 to S1, mm -hmm. and we're going to do 44, the range of motion test for that, and that's t to be able to turn your ankle inward like this, or eversion, like that. So eversion. That eversion. Or, so that, no, that's inversion. I meant, oh, this is, oh, okay, I'm yeah. sorry. Inversion. Eversion is its contraction, yes, yeah. and I inversion is its, inversion. its range of motion test. Yeah, inversion so is a range of motion test, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, inversion is a range of motion test, exactly. and eversion is our strength test. Here. That's right, exactly. Yeah. So here, that's our, 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 our phronius muscles here. And I think we okay. might find something really neat with this. <laughs> you, can we use her again for that muscle? Oh, we're gonna look at look at your want to look yeah. at your peroneals. Okay, sure. so let's have her uh, uh, test. Let's test your. Let's see if you how good you do with your oh, inversion. Should we, should we take a break? Oh, oh, oh! We're supposed to take a break. All right. Okay, so we're let's gonna, take a break. We're gonna take a break. When we come back, we're gonna get to the peroneal.